welcome to New Zealand. Today is my first day here with Jackson. This morning I'm going in to Frankton to pick him up. So I'm so excited to see him, so excited to go pick him up and we shall see you soon. Bye. I have just picked Jackson up from the airport. We've had lunch in Queenstown and we've come to Bob's Cove. We're gonna do the little like 15 minute walking track and go for a swim in the lake. Ooh. My favorite things about New Zealand is that you can go to some of the most beautiful spots just like this and have it all to yourself or like be able to find a secluded spot all to yourself and I feel like in nature you really get to enjoy it more that way rather than it being like a big tourist attraction type of thing you know you know yeah you agree yeah I agree <laughs> So we're on our way down the gondola, and um, it was all right, good view, solid view up there, but that's about it, just the view. Hello there, good morning, it's the next day, and we are on the road to Milford Sound. We've just stopped in this field along the way. It's called, forget it, I don't know what it's called, but there's these beautiful mountains in the background, and I feel like some sort of like, battle would have taken place here you know it looks like a battlefield because it's so flat do you know what i mean yeah we're here we're queer we're hiking <laughs> We're here in Milford Sound and we're doing the Lake Marion track. It's about three hours return. Probably take us two and a half hours because <laughs> we're athletes. Let's go. So as Jackson mentioned, it's a, about a three hour return hike. The beginning of the hike is what we're on and is supposed to be, which it is very easy, and then it's supposed to get quite challenging. It's like graded as difficult, I think, um, because it's quite steep uphill with the whole 350 meters elevation. So it's very nice right now, but I'm sure we're going to be very out of breath very soon. On the road to Mount Aspiring National Park and we've just quickly stopped at Lake Hawea at the lookout. The best thing about drives in New Zealand is that there's so many beautiful lookout spots like this just on the side of the road. So make sure you allow extra time for driving because you will want to stop everywhere.
standing here in the Blue Pools is absolutely magnificent. It's one of my favourite places ever. Cold water, blue water, what a dream. <laughs> Definitely come here if you don't have much time in New Zealand. And especially if you're a rock skimmer, this is rock skimming paradise. <laughs> yeah. Here's one to take home with you. <laughs> Maybe the worst skim I've ever seen you do. But yeah, if you're only on the South Island for a short time, it's a really short walk to get here. Um, definitely worthwhile. And try and come in the middle of the day if you can, so you'll really see the blueness in all its glory. Good morning, it's day three of our road trip. We had the worst sleep camping last night in Wanaka. But Jackson started his day um, with an icy dip in Wanaka Lake to wake himself up. Well now we've come back to Mount Aspiring National Park and we're going to check out a couple of the waterfalls around here. First on the list is Thunder Creek Falls. Let's go. Thunder Creek Falls, literally like a 40 second walk from where you park your car. So worth it if you're doing a trip into Mount Aspiring to see the Blue Pools. We're now onto the second waterfall which is like maybe 10 minutes up the road and it's called Fantail Falls. So we're gonna go check it out. waterfalls are like severely underrated I feel like they're the type of spots that you you do the walk you come you see it and you go because they're so easy to get to that you just leave straight away but I feel like you should allocate way more time for it don't you think yeah for sure <laughs> Yeah, at the Rob Roy Glacier hike. Well, we're at the car park, but you know, I've got this hat on for prime sun protection, but I kind of look like I work at Bunnings, but that's okay. Anyways, it's supposed to be about a three to four hour return hike. We've got lots of water and we're ready to go. So hopefully this one's a good one. You just seem to have one single thing in my So we've made it to the upper lookout. Definitely don't stop at the lower lookout. The lower lookout, you can see a bit of the glacier. I oh know, it's pretty trash. The upper lookout is where it's at. There's like seven waterfalls or something. I oh know, there's probably more. And like you got, you're like right underneath the glacier. It kind of feels like if the glacier was to collapse, it would collapse on your head. So that's a little frightening, but it is beautiful. So we have arrived here in Omarama and we're here to have a look at the clay cliffs which um, you don't hear very much about, not a lot of hype about the clay cliffs but if you're on your way up to Mount Cook, Lake Tekapo, Lake Pukaki, it'll be on your way so add in some time to stop and take in the clay cliffs because it's pretty cool. Worth the trip for sure. Always worth a trip for an icy swim, but definitely if you can spend like a night in the Tekapo town, it's 
it's so worth it because then you really get to enjoy this and you've got a couple chances in case you get bad weather um yeah what do you think you think it was worth coming yep very good there's a tree in the water growing in the water and there's ducks around it from Milford Sound. We're here because we had a cruise booked but on our drive in it was cancelled um, because they overbooked but we're on our way in now and we're just going to try our luck at getting on and seeing what happens so fingers crossed. 